So we are here to solve for limit of a function as x approaches for infinity. That is what the infinity function. So here, if you have the limit as x goes to infinity, it will be a positive infinity or negative infinity. One divided by what x. Here, you put in what a positive infinity or the negative infinity, so you're going to get one divided by what? Positive infinity or negative infinity. Infinity is a very large number divided by what? 100. I, one divided by what? A very large number. So it is what? It's just approaching what? Zero. It's just like you have what? One divided by what? 10. Then you have one divided by what? 100. Then you have one divided by what? A very large number like infinity. So you're going to what? A very small number, you are preaching a very small number. So for this one, you consider it to go to be zero. So I'm just going to give an example to, uh, to check through to find out the infinity limit. So suppose you have a limit as x goes towards infinity, then you have two x minus or seven, all divided by what three x squared plus what nine. So for this one, we we'll pick the variable from one from the question with the, with the highest exponent. So the daily variable here is what is the x with the highest exponent. So we have x squared. So we divide x squared by what, by times what in the equation. When we do so, we get what two x divided by what x squared minus what seven divided by what x squared, all divided by what three x squared divided by what x squared plus 9 divided by what x squared, which is equal to 2 divided by x minus what 7 divided by x squared, all divided by what 3 plus what 9 over what x squared. So for this one, from here you can just put in the infinity to get what your answer. So if you do so from this side, you're going to get 2 over what infinity minus what, 9 over, I uh, 7 over what, infinity squared, all divided by what, 3, plus what, 9 over what, infinity squared. Okay, so here, you could see that from here, from the principle here, here, the number could be any number here, it could be 10, 20, since it divided by what, infinity is going to go a very small number, which is, that number is approaching zero, so from here, 2 divided by what, infinity, just like what was you. 7 divided by what? Infinity squared. Infinity squared is just like infinity squared. So for this one, it's what we just say. Zero. So here to be the same thing, zero. So at the end of the day, we have what? Zero by what? Sorry, which is what? Equal to what? Zero. Okay. So I can give another example like another. This one, let's call this one as I was saying one. And this one will be a question. So if you have limits as s goes to infinity, then you have what is in 2x minus what x all divided by what 3x plus what 9. So for this one, the highest variable with the exponent is the x. So you are going to divide x by what it times. So you are going to get 2x divided by what x minus 7 divided by x all divided by 3x over x plus what 9 over what x. So for this one, you're going to get 2 minus what 7 over what x all divided by what 3 plus what 9 over what x. So from this side, you just put in the infinity, you get 2 7 over what infinity and you will 3 plus what 9 over what infinity. So from the condition, first condition, here is going to be zero. Here is going to be zero. So at the end, we have what? Two of our three. That is our answer. Okay. So the next one we'll be doing is what? Is the left hand limit and the right hand limit. Okay. That is another topic. The left hand limit and the right hand limit. So here, the right hand limit and the left hand. So we are doing the left hand limit. As s goes to the left hand, the limit as s goes to the right hand. So we talk, we see that the left or the right hand goes to the limit. 
So for this one, if you have a equilibrium limit as S goes towards C, that is minus. We use the minus to represent what the left hand side. And you have the fines in F of X, which is equal to what limit as S goes to C plus. We use the plus to represent the right hand side. So for this one, you have F of X. Yes, so yes. for this one, if you have an example like this, limit as S goes to 4, then you have what X squared minus 1 16, all divided by what 4X minus 1 16. For this one, we are just checking whether this limit, limit of this function exists. So if you want to do so, check for the right hand side and the left hand side. So for, so for this one, we are first of first of all we are doing for the left hand left hand side. So we have limit as s goes to four minus we use the minus to represent the left hand side. Then we have what is all divided by what four x minus sixteen. So for this one, we will choose a number closer to the four closer to four by less than or four. So we can choose something like I three point nine. Or 3.9. So let's choose what 3.9. So we can do it like this. As S goes to what 3.9, then we have for S squared minus 16. All divided by 4x minus 4 16. And if you put in what 3.9 minus 4 16, all divided by what? 4 times. This one is squared. 4 times what? 3.9. Minus 16. Minus 16. So here you will get 1.975. That is what the left hand side will do. Then when you finish, you do for what? For the right hand side. So here for the right hand side, you are going to get limit as S goes to 4. That is plus. Thank you. 